Okay, so before uh, we more uh, we move to more complicated area, I'm uh, bringing back to you to geometrical Brownian motion. Now there is a point that there could be any uh, stochastic differential equation that you might uh, need to solve. Some of them uh, will have uh, these uh, parameters attached, which would be different. So here, uh, rather than a constant uh, and the value. Uh, where you are you might have something else and here also you might have something else but uh, here in the uh, geometrical brownian motion you say that uh, the place where you stand uh, and uh, this block that you want to move uh, on the upside is uh, mu st and sigma st dw now there is a property of this dw you need to understand that this dw is in itself a function that uh, more or less behaves uh, like uh, a normally distributed uh, uh, kind of a thing that uh, would add on disturbance but uh, the disturbance that this dw is going to add would be scaled with time and the variance would uh, increase with time and therefore since the variance would increase with time the standard deviation with, uh, uh, would increase by root t and this is one of the solution why we scale those uh, volatility parameters with root of time now when you solve this equation uh, and if you skip uh, every step uh, you would finally land in here and you will see that uh, uh, the effect of this thing onto the stock price would be uh, sigma into wt so if wt is a uh, is something that's normally distributed and you get a distribution of uh, wt so uh, whatever you have at wt would uh, ultimately lead uh, to here and uh, if you take an expected uh, value of this st then you will probably see that this external uh, st would lead to uh, would lead out this wt uh, with a uh, mean of 1 so a mean value would be different but uh, at t point you will have uh, this draw that would come out that would be scaled up with sigma so that you uh, get a different value uh, if uh, if you uh, did not had this uh, wt anywhere uh, in the play uh, then uh, just ignore this term and uh, ignore this uh, sigma as well that multiplies with wt and you would be fine with exponential mu t but uh, since uh, this thing is uh, playing its part uh, we see sigma getting detached from wt sticking here uh, if we would like to go into more details we would like to uh, understand what is called the Eto's lemma the Edo's calculator and this WT is a Weiner process. This process is something like W0 is equal to 0. The function is uh, continuous, independent increment, but this increment uh, normal distribution 0 and T minus S. So at each point in time as you move ahead, uh, this uh, uh, the standard deviation of these increments uh, which is normally distributed would increase. So in that case, uh, this WT is in fact uh, playing around with your final values. And Ito's lemma would uh, help us to uh, solve a generalized equation where uh, uh, you would have a lot of other things. So, uh, making it a bit simple, uh, jumping on to geometrical Brownian motion, if you look here, uh, F prime uh, S, F double prime S, and you'll directly uh, land uh, to the place that you are looking for, which is the expected value. And here if you uh, look, uh, this uh, BT is uh, nothing but WT. So the Ito's uh, lemma, if you look here, F prime S uh, would help you get there. So F prime S half, F double prime S sigma square DT and uh, what is S? Uh, F of S is nothing but uh, log S. So this is how uh, you would like to put. So if, if you just in, uh, look at here and uh, uh, you are not sure what uh, uh, log s is, then uh, you are uh, virtually looking at an equation which could be solved. Solving this uh, would be Ito's lemma. Huh? And why we are confident that this would work is because the final answer that we are getting, that uh, log of s uh, depends on uh, this value of uh, uh, sigma that gets scaled up uh, by the Wiener process and uh, uh, the sigma square which comes out from there and lands here. So this is an important uh, lemma that is uh, given on point 1. 
that's going to help you understand uh, the stochastic uh, solution now uh, coming back uh, that how we are going to integrate that uh, that becomes interesting so just uh, imagine here uh, for brownian solution we apply zeta lemma with uh, f is equal to log s so if f is equal to uh, log s and uh, we differentiate uh, both of them then uh, we get uh, this equation that we have uh, down so uh, once we get that and uh, we get f is equal to log x uh then probably uh, we can integrate uh, uh both sides uh, uh and get what we are looking for so when this would get integrated we'll get dt uh when the other part uh, sigma db would uh, get integrated we get uh, sigma b so uh, virtually we have separated uh, this db uh from uh, uh, the dt that uh, it used to get attached so here it was uh, uh, this uh, time varying volatility plus uh, dbt or rather in a in the case of geometrical brownian motion uh, uh, this uh, was attached to dwt and st so we have removed this uh, uh, time dependent thing and if you observe here what we finally landed into so we have removed that uh, dd from here and uh, we finally found an equation so uh, what we are looking for is a final form where we will of course it is wt but we would be able to integrate and find out how this minor process is going to finally affect uh, our equation so in that case uh, that's helpful for us